Hey adventurers, welcome to Herping 101. Today we're going to talk about logs and other types of cover. You know, logs and other pieces of cover can be great places to find reptiles and amphibians. See, a lot of these species love being in these covered, closed, condensed spaces. Uh, it allows them to feel uh, secure and away from predators, right? An eagle is not going to come down and eat you if you're under a rock or under a log. Now, cover can have a couple different purposes. You could have something like a stone or a piece of tin where the, it captures the heat from the sun and lets it radiate underneath it, which makes a great place for our cold-blooded friends uh, to keep warm. Or it could be something like a log that's able to maintain moisture very well, better than the surrounding area, uh, so that way our amphibian friends uh, can stay moist during the day and they're not going to dry out uh, from being exposed to the sun. Now before we flip a piece of cover, there's a couple things to keep in mind. We don't know what's underneath this log, and in fact there could be something potentially dangerous under here. In my past adventures you may have seen that we flipped up uh, copperheads and rattlesnakes, uh, so it's very important to recognize that there might be something dangerous under here. So first thing, do not stick your fingers underneath the log. Don't stick your fingers anywhere you can't see. If a dangerous creature is underneath, it may see your fingers and bite them because it's scared and it's threatened. Or it might think that they're a tasty snack. So first thing, keep your hands in places that you can see. Place them on top of the log. Or if you can't, um, if there's no way to flip it, uh, using putting your hands on top, get a handy tool like a field hook. So this hook has a nice little uh, sort of curved edge at the bottom that allows us to hook under the log and flip it without allowing our fingers to go beneath. Another important thing is when I flip cover, I always like to flip it towards me, just like this. That way, if there is something dangerous underneath, you're not trapping it. It has a clear view of the exit. It knows it can escape and go elsewhere. Um, that'll help prevent snakes from being aggressive. They won't strike you as, uh, they won't try to strike you. Um, it's a lot safer situation for both you and the creature. And the most important thing to remember is after you flip something, remember to put it back. Uh, we really want to try to leave no trace uh, and restore the environment to the same state that we, that we found it. Now that we cover the basics, let's see if we can find something. that alligator lizard. Really cool to see. You see on the back he has these nice lines, these little uh, white flecks uh, by the side. It's one of our field marks uh, to know that this is a southern alligator lizard and not one of the northern species. Now that we've found something, I'm going to put the log back first and then we're going to put uh, our little lizard uh, underneath it so he doesn't get squished uh, when the log gets put back. All right, thanks for hanging out with us and showing us how to flip logs properly. Head on back to your nice little home. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Herpy 101. If you have other topics you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments below, um, and I'll do my best to create uh, some more fantastic content for you. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History, and hopefully you can use these tips when I see you in the field. <laughs>